Welcome back to the L400 Series 2 Delica Mitsubishi 380 swap. Um, when you're doing the engine mounts, the left hand side's going to bolt straight up, but the right hand side's going to need some modification. So the factory mount sits something like that or that because it was a front wheel drive car. Um, so this is the mount off the 380 block. We're going to toss that. Um, you'll have a blank threaded hole here. So just match the bolt up. I think it was like a 17 mil bolt. And I've just made a stud um, and cut the head off the bolt and then used a nut here to space it out so that it'll sit flush with that. And what we're gonna do is just have a bit of strap across there and then the original mount off the 6G72 will bolt up. All right, so we're just getting ready to modify the mount. Um, as you can see, we've got the original mount here. We've cut a bit off the top and I'll put a stud on that left-hand side there. Um, I'm gonna weld this bracket Right, so this is the right hand side mount and we're just going to modify it to fit now um, so this top bit those bolts don't go anywhere so i've just cut that off and then i've got some five mil strap from my local bunnings um, now i don't have a welder so um, i will just be stick welding this um, i've just got a um, just a 25 dollar two amp car charger from bunnings uh, sorry from kmart and um, some filler rod, an old hacksaw blade. So uh, I'll quickly tack this up and then um, we'll see what happens. Cool, all right. So um, we've welded that bit of strap on there um, and then I've just reinforced it. So obviously the bottom half here, as you look at it, is the factory mount, and then just cut it across there. We put a cup on top um, and some just some reinforcement plates. So it's got an L reinforcement. That there is going to take the flex out of the plate that way. Um, fairly happy with that bracket. I mean, it's probably almost over-engineered, but who cares? Like, it's going to hold. So um, I'm stoked. We'll bolt that up and see how we go. All right, so I've just given the mount a quick lick of paint. Um, I had to just notch that back so that I could get to the bolt a bit easier. Um, and then, yeah, pretty simple. I mean, she's tough as nails, like that's not going anywhere. Um, so that's all part of the factory mount until that seam. That is part of the factory mount until the seam. This was a blank bolt hole, so I just cut the head off a bolt um, and put a nut on that and I'll, I'll trim that. Um, and then that's just a blank bit as well. So that's come up good. Um, so, like I said, I haven't got much tools and stuff here, but this is one of those things that um, you will need a knower mate who can weld um, or someone that's pretty handy with a welder to be able to do this conversion. I think um, a bloke might be trying to come up with some custom templates, um, but you know, this is something you do need. Now, obviously I didn't weld this together with a hacksaw blade and a battery charger. There was this absolute champion of a bloke in Townsville, just on Facebook Marketplace. Um, I sent him some photos, said what I wanted, um, sent him Cliff's photos of what he did, um, and he came out on a Sunday and said he charges seventy dollars an hour. Had all this done in an hour and tried to charge me seventy bucks, and I ended up giving him a bit more than that because I was just stoked with what he did, um, you know. And that is just so tough. Like that's gonna that's gonna hold most of the weight anyway, but this whole. <laughs> contraption here is just going to stop that flexing back and that does clear the headers so um i'm nearly ready to bolt this thing in um i'll just put the other side on so just be gentle with the dipstick tube i've just um located one bolt she'll go in sweet and then sort of play with that just get it out of the way just enough so that yeah, I can locate the rest of these bolts. So I'm just going to hand tighten these now. Um, basically just checking fitment. Okay, so that's pretty much on. It's on enough that you could do all four bolts up on that and test fit the motor in the car. This aircon bracket needs to go on. Um, it'll slide on there, but I need to remove all this um, front 
housing stuff, all the accessory panels and all that. Um, and I think from what I've heard, you do need to modify this bracket a little bit. So that's a tomorrow job, it's getting late. So it's mounted up. Um, we're gonna pull the bell housing, just the housing off, so that I can modify that to fit the rear of the motor. Um, so there's a little bit of grinding we need to do and in favor of pulling the transmission, I'll just pull just the bell off. Um, and then tomorrow I will put this motor back together um, and do a bit of a comparison side by side so you can see the differences and it'll also sort of help me remember what's got to go where. Um, don't freak out when you see the chains over the heads there. This motor's probably going to be a table. That one's absolutely cooked. Um, had you just decided to do the straight swap, your motor wouldn't have been torn down like mine has been if you just went to pull it. But I was initially just going to do cylinder heads on this. Um, so I'd disassembled the whole motor, planning to just do a head gasket and put it back together. Um, but obviously, as I kept reading... I sort of just came to the decision to do the 380 swap. So I've only owned this Delica for a week. So when I realized that the head gasket had gone, by the time I priced up the equipment to fix it, it was worth just putting a bigger, better motor in. Um, I've really relied heavily on other people putting video tutorials up on YouTube over things I've done before. And there wasn't one out for this. So I thought, oh, I'll just do it. And hopefully that can help some people out. Um, filming has slowed me down, but you know, at least I'll be able to, use this as some reference so that completes day two this has taken me uh, legitimately two days to get from here and i should say that's two days from having both motors out of the car so it was a little bit of a slower process because i was doing planning on just doing the head gaskets or the cylinder heads um, but you know by the time i priced that up it wasn't worth it but i'd torn it down down to the heads hoping to find a more obvious problem higher up in the block and then just get it driving again um, so I reckon if you just went for a straight pull and just committed to doing the pull, you would have that process done pretty quickly. Um, you know, you don't need to be a mechanic to work in a junkyard. You just undo stuff and, um, pop her out. There's nothing super tricky. It's just some bolts are hard to get to, but it was a pretty easy process. So real time from both motors out of the car, I'm at the end of day two now. Um, and I haven't been, you know, going crazy. Um, I was just fortunate that that dude off Gumtree came and, fabbed up that bracket for me today on a Sunday. Um, but I reckon I'll have this motor in the car tomorrow, at least test fit, um, and then it shouldn't be too long. It'll just be ordering parts. I'm waiting on, obviously, you know, valve cover seals and spark plugs and all that sort of stuff. And I'll go and match up some hose and O-rings and some little bits and pieces tomorrow. Um, but yeah, so far, um, two days to here, that's mounts on, and I reckon I'll have it in the car tomorrow. See you then.